in this video I want to to give you a, an overview of how to perform matrix multiplication in APL and to actually walk you through an example of that so that it becomes slightly more clear to you as as to whether as to what matrix multiplication actually is so if you are familiar with me with matrix multiplication and if you know how to do it in APL feel free to skip this video otherwise I will walk you right through it and so basically what is going on is I'm going to let's pretend I'm going to ask a couple of different people how smart they think I am and let's say so let's call let's store these ratings that are going to be from 0 to 10 let's store these ratings in a matrix and let's say I did this in, in three different days I asked the same four people what they thought of me and so in the first day I don't know everyone was feeling feeling nice and they just gave me really high scores then in the second day they gave me more uh, average scores and then in the third day I don't know just they went all over the place this was supposed to be a 9 and a 4 okay and so these are the ratings I got these are stored in a matrix where each row is a different day and now what I have to do is say how well I trust this how well I trust in these people so I'm going to store the confidence levels I have in each person and so let's say that the first person is very trustworthy and so is the second one so they're pretty average and then the second one well the second one not so much so I, I only trust it I only give it half of my trust and then let's say that the fourth one well the fourth one is a very objective person and its assessments are, are usually um, accurate so I can say I trust that person very much so these are the trust levels and now what I want to see is what is my average rating for each day and how do I do that well what I want to do is take this vector over here I, I want to take these numbers over here and multiply them with the confidence levels so I want to do this basically so that I get a weighted opinion and now that I have these I want to sum them so I want to do this I want to do this plus this plus this to get a 34 and then there's these weights add up to 4 and so the overall rating I get is 8.5 so I get an 8.5 for my first day. What about the second day? This is a 6865. So there's the 6865 I want to multiply with the confidence. And then I want to sum this to get a 24.5. And then I divide by 4 to get a 6.125. So in the second day, the rating was much lower. And I want to do the same thing for the third day. But I won't do it by hand because this is getting cumbersome. And it is cumbersome and how can I do this in a simpler way well if you if you pay enough attention if you if you pay attention yeah I'm taking these numbers on the left and multiplying them with the corresponding numbers on the right and then what I do is I sum everything and I can actually write this in a much shorter way if I write that I'm taking the ratings and then summing them after multiplying them with the confidence levels and so you can see the 34 was in, is in here, the 24.5 is in here and then the 28 which would be the first step of my third day and I am yet to divide everything by 4 so let's go ahead and divide this by 4 and here they are my ratings for the three days 8.5, 6.5 one to five and seven and the magic here is happening because of or thanks to this operator right here the dot in APL well it can mean a couple of things but in between two functions it it performs this this algorithm it takes 
in, in this particular case where I have a matrix on the left and the vector on the right, it takes all the rows on the left and applies this function with the argument on the right. And that's going to give you a vector, supposedly. And then you take this function and apply it in between all the elements of the result. And this is this may seem a complicated operator, but when you have the plus and the dots and the times, you can read this as matrix multiplication. And as you get more accustomed to it, you'll see that this is actually a very pow a powerful a very powerful pattern, and you'll be glad that you can use the pattern with the dots. So we don't have a single glyph, a single primitive for matrix multiplication, and that is because the dot operator, which is actually called inner product, you have it in here, dyadic operator, is the inner product, and it abstracts away this exact pattern. And now I know that matrix multiplication is confusing if it's the first time you're dealing with it or if it's still fresh. Trust me, I've been there. I also had to learn matrix multiplication and I found it very confusing at first. Just take your time to get used to it. Go ahead and explore. Try fiddling with the numbers here and with the vector on the right and see what happens. Try using vectors on the right that are composed of just zeros and ones, and in particular a bunch of zeros and a single one. For example, execute, execute this in your, in your interpreter and try to understand, figure out why the result is this. Maybe try changing the position of the one, see what is going on, and also go online and look up other resources that teach matrix multiplication, because this is not, that's not the point of this series. I'm just trying to give you a, a generic overview of what is going on. So if you really want to fully comprehend matrix multiplication and the inner product, go ahead and take your time.